Hey guys, we're back here with um, Adrian Hopkins and um, sorry, uh, Carol Nisbet, and you guys are here with the Missoula Asian Services, and you guys are here to talk about Senior Corps yes. and uh, uh, foster grandparenting, volunteering in general when it comes to looking for seniors to be interested in that. Yes, we are. Yes. We're so pleased to be here today. <laughs> Thanks for having us on. So what can you tell us about uh, what it takes to be a volunteer? Well, goodness, uh, one of our <laughs> volunteers says it just takes love. Um, but for senior corps specifically at Missoula Aging Services, you have to be over the age of 55. Um, and depending on the program, we have different requirements. Um, we have three different programs within senior corps. RSVP program, uh, you have to be 55, but it's the most flexible program. It has hundreds of different opportunities. You can uh, volunteer for a one-time event like Project Homeless Connect or a Red Cross Blood Drive, or you could volunteer three times a week with uh, one of our community partners like the Pavarello, the Missoula Art Museum, hmm. just as examples. Um, our other two programs are stipend programs, uh, the Foster Grandparent Program and the Senior Companion Program. Those have a 15 hour per week uh, minimum service requirement and volunteers have to be income eligible. And um, we provide a stipend, mileage reimbursement, training, and uh, excess insurance. So the senior companions, they provide companionship to older adults or adults with disabilities. And foster grandparents, they provide uh, mentorship in classrooms to at-risk students in reading and or math. And Carol yeah. has been a senior <laughs> companion and a foster grandparent and is on our outreach task force. <laughs> Carol is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Carol, what can you tell us about uh, some of your experiences with the Foster Grandparent Program? Well, just um, helping the children at school, it is such a joy. I look forward every morning that I get to go. And um, the challenges that they meet, and when they have an experience where they've met, met and bettered their challenges, to um, see their reaction to like when the light kind of the light bulb goes off right. and they you know they they get like their math or their increased ability in their read in reading it's no. just and um, it's, it's it's quite an interesting thing too because um, a lot of times uh, people that do this program are, are necessarily like sometimes they're like, sometimes grandparents and their children they move far away from their grandparents and a lot of times you know the grandparents probably see their kids maybe like once every like once a year on like an annual visit kind of thing mm -hmm. so um, a lot of these programs also allows a lot of um, elderly folk people in their golden years of their <laughs> life, uh, a chance to actually connect with the younger generation. And, they, and the ch children look forward to it, and, and it's, it is, it's, it's a complement to the school activities. Mm -hmm. And so uh, what can you tell about, what, it, what is it, um, uh, so where can people find more information about this? Well, hopefully someone will see this program and say, hey, that's for me. If they're interested in more information or applying, they can call a volunteer coordinator at Missoula Aging Services, such as myself, at 728-7682, or they can go online to our webpage there at www.missoulaagingservices.org, where our mission is to promote the independence, health, and dignity of older adults and those who care for them. Cool, is there anything else you guys would want to uh, say before we wrap up? Anything I, that I missed? Okay. <laughs> I would like to uh, talk to your viewers cool. about our two really most urgent volunteer needs. Um, senior companions, we have a urgent need for male senior companions right. because we have a long waiting list of male clients who would just like some male companionship, you know? a guy to hang out with, uh, guy talk, sports, hunting, yeah. fishing, go grab some lunch, go for a drive. And <clears throat> in the foster grandparent program, we have a need for more volunteers in the outlying elementary schools like 
Target Range, French Town, Chief Charlo, and Dismet, where Carol works. We just need more people to help the students there who need a bit more time and attention. Yep. And I really love um, Missouri Missouri Asian Service in general because it's not just about helping the uh, older population, but it also allows the older population to help themselves along the way. Excellent point. Yes. Um, I think you, you reap more benefits than you give. Nice. All right. Um, is there anything else you want to say? Any final party notes? Just, just that it's a joy and that I have so enjoyed it and would urge anybody that needs an excuse to get up in the morning or has, I mean, you could do three hours, five days a week or, you know, just adjust your schedule around um, the opportunity. It is such a joy to be involved with the children and it lifts your spirits. So one more time, where can people find more information? They can call 728-7682 or go online to www.missoulaagingservices.org. All right, thanks for joining me, guys. Thanks so much for for having us. us. We'll be right back.